BIM Laser brought to you by Vlosa. In this learning session, we're going to go over how do you place curved beams as well as using the 3D snapping function in Revit. Okay, what you see in front of you here is a two level conference room where the deals are made. Okay, and in this two level conference room, the first level has no columns supporting the second level. The sec second level is being supported by the beam system above. Okay, so I'm going to delete the members that I'm going to walk you through and we're going to jump right in and do them over. Okay. One last delete this member here okay so we're going to go to the top level which is level six on the sixth level the sixth floor and we're going to redo the curved beams and we're going to use the inside of the the edge of this glass system to help create our curved beam okay so go over to the top click structure and then click beam and for this we're going to select the MC 12 by 50 and then we want to go over and select pick lines at the top when you modif modify uh, place beams select pick lines and then we want to select the inside of this curve and then at the bottom we're going to select this one because this is pretty much going to define the uh, the trajectory or path of the beam and you can see it placed a nice beam now this beam of course you can dissect it and send it to the fabricator I don't think you're gonna bend the steel on on site yeah uh, you know it's gonna come from the fabricator bent and you could just dimension it and cut this up to whatever you need but okay so we're going back to the 3d view to see what was created I'm going to adjust the uh, the 3d section box selecting on the 3D section box and now we're going to do um, 3D snapping okay we want to get out of the command that we were in and we want to adjust the 3D box okay and now what we're going to do is 3D snapping okay and as you can see at the second level, and I apologize, there's so many uh, beams here that it's difficult to see through. We're going to hide these two so we can see what's going on below. I'm going to go down to the bottom and click the glasses. We can isolate these two. I want to hide element. Okay. So now what we're going to do is place diagonal bracing between this hanger beam, this hanger column, and this pipe hanger column. Okay. And so what I want to do is actually I want to isolate that to make sure that I'm selecting isolate element to make sure that I'm selecting the top and the bottom of these hanger columns. Okay. So now what I want to use, I'm going to go over again to structure, go to column, and this time around, okay, let's see. Pipe column, pipe two. This is the one that I want. You want to go over to the top where it says modify placement uh, structural column and you want to make sure slanted is selected and then 3D snapping is selected. And then we're going to go to the bottom of this column and then to the top of the next one and then to the bottom of this one and to the top of that one. And now you see how these uh, beams are, are um, this, this bracing has uh, you know they're, 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 uh, they're crossing each other in Revit you can select these two and then go over to structure and then select connections and then you can select from the appropriate uh, means of of uh, connecting these two here at the midpoint okay so now I want to go down to the bottom of the screen and reset temporary okay and now you see that this conference room has now a beam at the top that is helping to support the uh, glass system and we also have this diagonal bracing that we placed using the 3D snapping 
And this concludes the tutorial of this nicely designed conference room. And again, if you're interested, like this design, I'm designing this this office space. It's a conceptual design. It's a place where, you know, green technology companies can come together and, and you know, sort of uh, push the envelope as it relates to uh, you know, green technology. It's kind of like a uh, incubator space. This concludes this tutorial. BIM Laser.